forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Seasonable temperatures across the Badger State today, but much above normal temperatures are coming back. Here's a look at the next seven days. We're going to warm up into the lower 30s tomorrow. We'll see upper 30s to lower 40s then as we head through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as another January thaw overspreads the upper Midwest. Right now we are looking at lower to mid 20s. It is 23 degrees in Mountain. We've got 22 in Kiwani. And we're looking at 20 degrees in Oshkosh in Green Bay with clear skies. It is currently 22 and we have southwest winds at around 15 miles per hour in downtown Appleton. It is mostly clear and 21 with southwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Those gusty winds not only creating some blowing and drifting snow today, but also some wind chills that made it feel colder out there. Right now in Sheboygan, it feels like five and in Fond du Lac, it feels like six. Storm Shield radar shows quiet conditions across northeast Wisconsin this evening. We have high pressure in control, mostly clear skies across the state. You can see we had a lot of clouds this morning, but then mostly sunny skies as we move through the afternoon. We've got a large area of high pressure located to our south, and with the clockwise flow around that area of high pressure, we have a gusty westerly wind across the state today, and that gusty westerly wind is really warming things up to our west across the central and northern plains. Instead of highs in the single digits and teens. We saw 30s and 40s today across North Dakota, South Dakota and Nebraska. And this is the warm up that's going to overspread the Great Lakes as we head into this upcoming weekend. Tomorrow we will see warmer temperatures, at least compared to today, with highs getting up into the lower 30s. Once again, we'll have a gusty southwest wind, not quite as strong as what we saw today, but still strong enough to make those lower for, uh, 30s probably feel like the mid 20s when you factor in the wind chill. Skycast shows a mixture of clouds and sunshine across northeast Wisconsin as we move through tomorrow. And then on Friday, we can expect more of the same sunshine mixing with occasional clouds, but even warmer temperatures. It looks like highs will get up into the upper 30s to around 40 degrees, a good 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year, and then even warmer on Saturday. So tonight, look for fair skies and breezy conditions. Overnight lows will be in the mid to upper teens compared to the lower single digits last night. Tomorrow, sun and clouds breezy and warmer. I'm forecasting highs to be mainly in the lower 30s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 33. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to St. John's Shelter, and we did that today. I forecast 24 and the actual high was 24 degrees, which means I have now hit 26 of the last 26 three degree guarantee forecasts. As we make our way through Friday, expect a mixture of sun and clouds. Once again, we'll see breezy winds, 38 degrees, more clouds on Saturday, but a little bit warmer, close to 40. On Sunday, we'll see upper 30s with cloudy skies giving way to a light mixture as we move into the late afternoon or early evening. That light mixture is the beginning of a big storm that's going to roll across the upper Midwest as we head through Monday and Tuesday. Right now, based on the latest computer forecast models, it appears that it's going to go to our west, which means we're going to be on the warm side of the storm. And that means most of us will see just rain with it instead of snow, but we'll have to watch it. It's still four to five days out and that track can still change Regina. So at least today and tomorrow and Saturday, we may have a chance to see another fireball. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yes, can... you know what? But you could stand and look at the sky <laughs> night All after night. night after night for <laughs> five come. years and never see a fireball. No. It's just, you just have to be in the right place at the right time All like luck. I was luckily last night. Maybe buy a lotto <laughs> ticket or something. Yeah, exactly. Know. All right, Cameron, thanks for that. We'll still ahead. A former Navy 